What is a hot list and how to use it? When you buy a Toronto pre-construction condo, there's a thing called a hot list. In this video, I'm gonna explain what is a hot list. It's kind of a new thing and how to benefit if you're an investor. Okay, this is Jesse Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker, research realty and search mortgage. And today in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a hot list. What is a hot list, how to use it, how to benefit it, where it comes from. So in yesterday's video, I kind of went over the um, basics of pre-construction condos. Basically, there's a, there's a parking lot, a new condo, you know, you're gonna put it on, and there's a pre-construction, which means you're the first ones to be able to uh, buy into the building and get the best prices and have the best selection, and you get invited by a VIP platinum agent like myself or another agent, and then you put your bids in the worksheet. We went over all of that. Send your worksheets in, send your top three uh, choices. You know, my number one choice is a two bedroom, 700 square feet, medium floor. My number two choice is the two bedroom, 800 square feet, high floor. My number three choice is the penthouse. Okay, once that uh, stage of sale, once that phase of selling is done, the pre construction, the, the VIP, um, what developers have started to use a thing called a hot list. A hot list is basically a list where they keep with the condos available for sale in that building, in that pre-construction building at any given time. And uh, myself, as a VIP Platinum agent, will get an email every day saying, okay, that's the hot list for today, these are the condos you can sell today. And in that hot list, you'll see a variety of uh, units. Obviously, all the units are left, so usually the very small, cheapest units that are gone right away, but you may find some good one bedrooms in there, one plus den, two bedroom, and some penthouses. It'll be a good mix of all the units that I have available. Um, and then I call the people that are trying to get in the building, let's say Galleria on the park, condos. Uh, you didn't get in the VIP because your worksheets were not accepted, there's too many of them. Or maybe you send your worksheet too late, or you just you know didn't go on time. So now you can move to the next step, it's called the hot list. And the hot list is a list that will say, basically like a, a chart, like an Excel spreadsheet. And in that sheet it'll say, you know, um, we have uh, one bedroom, model A, 524 square feet, price 600,000. We have, uh, we have uh, one bedroom plus den, model B, price is 700,000, and so on and so forth. These hot lists will have usually about 10 to 20 units in them, depending on the building. In the case of Galleria, it's a smaller building for phase one. It's only 291 units. Bear in mind, developer would like to keep some units uh, back when the prices go up after they... they uh, complete the building usually they'll release the penthouses and maybe they save the few units too because they can make better money on it you know developer don't forget developers need to sell about 60 or 70 percent of their units or of the dollar volume um, in order to get the construction loan so the bank will say developer okay no problem uh, you sell 60 percent of your dollar volume let's say the all the units in the building are worth uh, 300 million dollars 60 percent of that um, 150 180 180 million, once you sold 180 million volume, you got all your deals firm, you got all your checks, everything, all your pre-approval, um, we'll give you the construction loan. And now you got 40% of the dollar volume left for sale. Now, if you sold a lot of small units, one bedroom, you need more units. And if you sold the largest, most expensive unit, you need less units, because we're talking about dollar volume here. Not necessarily unit volume, but it doesn't matter. The hot list will come out and say, okay, these are the units we have available uh, today. So a great example for this was 543 Richmond, where I was getting every day a hot list, and the developer, um, Pemberton in this case, was very, very good in, in sending daily emails, say these, that's the hot list, so everyone, all the VIP agents will get the hot list, and they can call the, the customers, the clients, the buyers and investors, and say, that's what we have available today. Now, a lot of people have a, 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 a hard time understanding the difference between VIP, hot list, sales, I'll tell you this way, let's say the unit has uh, 500 units, they're gonna sell, they're gonna sell, that's kinda cool, they're gonna sell these units, um, you know, maybe 20% of the VIP, another 20% of the second part of the VIP, another 20% with the hot list, and then another 20% maybe later in the stage and keep 20% uh, for later sales. That kinda makes sense. Um, obviously, every step that goes, the price goes up a bit, but the hot list may still be the same price as the VIP sale because developers set up some goals, how to sell, the price structure, all that stuff. So hot list is a very good opportunity to get a great condo still in a VIP sale. And the reason you didn't get in the VIP is because two, one is you didn't get it because you're sending worksheet and you did get in, 
And the second is you did not send a worksheet. You know, if you don't send a worksheet, you cannot be considered. I have a lot of people calling me throughout the years. I'm, th I'm thinking about it. I want it. I don't know. Do you have the money to invest? Yes, I do. Well, put your worksheet in. You know, like if you don't try, you never know. At least you get your unit allocation. You know you have the chance. You can buy it or you cannot. Uh, but if you don't put the worksheet in, you know, you don't, you don't get a chance. Because, you know, you, you got to stick the fork in the food, put it in your mouth. Mm, in order for it to happen for you but a lot of people you'll be surprised how many people don't do it you just go over and over and it's like analysis paralysis then thinking about it I don't know and maybe I should buy a condo maybe I should buy a house maybe commercial but they actually don't take any action in the meantime because we live in an inflationary economy prices go up they must go up it's by design it's not like we can stop it okay although the lemon you buy is the same lemon year after year, but the price of the lemon keeps going up. That's the problem. The price of the popsicle goes up, and that's why the price of the condo goes up. The price of everything goes up all the time. And that's why we invest, because we need to rise up in inflation. We cannot just leave ourselves to, um, to the waves, you know? Like, you got to get control over your life. So, when you get that hot list, that's your opportunity, that's your chance to invest in a condo at a great price, uh, usually the VIP price or very close to it. Uh, maybe this unit uh, was not offered before. Maybe it was rescinded, means somebody bought it in a VIP, but then it wasn't what they wanted exactly or they were allocated, you they send it back. That's when you jump in. So if you miss the Galleria VIP, jump in on the Hotlist Galleria. It's going to come out next couple of days and I'll have units available. So if you're thinking about it, not sure about it, you can grab a condo, a brand new condo for $1,000 a foot. In my opinion, it's a very good deal. Let's wait for this to go. Can't even see it, but it's so loud because I'm in between all these buildings here. There he goes. Hope everything was okay there. Okay, so if you have missed the opportunity uh, to invest in the VIP, you have a chance in the hot list. Now, not every developer does a hot list. Don't come to me and say, hey, where's the hot list? <laughs> Maybe they didn't do it. You know, there's no rules of how to, how to set up these, these sales. A lot of developers just copy from another developer. So one of them will come up with a good idea. They do it. It works for them. Other developers see it. They just copy. Developers are good at developing. They're not good at sales and marketing. Developers are good at one thing only, and that's developing. They don't even do the best floor plan sometimes. They have an architect to do the floor plans for them. So... A good developer hires really amazing people like me <laughs> and other to make sure that the construction is fantastic, the building is amazing, the design is perfect, they, everyone maximizes the profit, both the investors and developers. That's good. That's what we like. So when it comes to the hot list, all you got to do is keep your eye on the hot list and when that thing comes, you go for it. More noise here. Get away from this. Okay, the next thing is, the hot list may not contain all the condos available. You know, people tell me, hey, tell me what's available. It's like, we don't know. The VIP agents don't know, and you'd be surprised. Developers themselves don't always know, because they don't have an online list on the cloud they all share. Very few of them do, but usually it's still, still done by hand. It's almost 2020. It's still done by hand. It's still, it still takes time. Um, you know, the one person working in the office yesterday is not coming in today and the person that comes to replace them, unless they can log in and see, and everyone's logged into the same system, it's in the cloud or some server, right? And then they all share the information, they just won't know. And the other thing is the units under 10 day rescission period, when you buy the new condo, you know, in Ontario, you can send it back with absolutely zero financial uh, consequences, it means you can send it back and get all your money back, no questions asked. That's true to every new condo you buy. And it's through a lot of products. It's part of the Ontario uh, commercial consumer law. Okay? So, let's say you're looking for that one plus den at the northeast corner. That's the one you want. There's a floor plan like that, but it doesn't show up. It didn't get in the VIP, and then it didn't show up in the hot list. What do you do? Well, you tell me. Tell me, you'll see, I really, really want that unit. And I'll say, okay, that's fine. But give me a second and third choice, too. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to live in this unit. You know... Like, don't be so, like, obsessed with this is the one I get. Be obsessed with getting in. You understand the difference? Be obsessed with getting into the project and making your investment than letting your obsession actually stop you from making any investment. The next building is going to be more expensive. They're going to think to yourself, oh, man, I should have just gotten the other unit. 
is just as good. The price is the same. It's very similar. Maybe it's on a different corner or a different floor, a little higher, a little short, whatever. Get, get in there, especially when you buy investment units. If the price is really good and the product is good, you know, you're not only buying the unit. If the unit is good and it's on a low floor, not a high floor, or a high floor, not a low floor, it doesn't really matter that much. What matters is you get in because the next building costs you more. But the rents are going to be more or less the same for the same building because at the end of the day, when the building opens up and everyone wants to rent a unit, you know, the one bedroom will rent for the same price regardless if you bought it first or last. You could have bought that one bedroom over there for 400000 or 500000 but the renters, the tenant, will pay the same because that's all they can do. You know, so if that one bedroom goes for 2200 that's what we're going to pay you. But if you pay for it 400000 or 500000 that's the issue. That's where your ROI gets higher when you pay less. So if you want to get a higher ROI, get in there now and ensure you get the lowest price you can for that investment unit rather than be obsessed with, you know, I need to get this, da, 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 and then you don't get anything. And you'd be surprised how many people cannot break the psychological barrier. They just can't, they just can't do it. They have the funds, they have the ability, they have the credit, they have the job, they have the cash flow, but they cannot do it. And 20 years later, they look, oh my God, I could have had this, I could have had that, I could have bought this one, I could have, I could have had $2 million now to my name from, you know, two $50,000 investments I could have made 20 years ago. Think about it. You invested 20 years ago, $50,000, and at the time it was only 10%, you bought yourself two 500,000, two 300,000, two whatever, 400,000 unit condos, and in 20 years, those are double, triple, and quadruple in price. But you only put 50,000 down, so that 500,000 unit, now a million, okay, that's 500 in your pocket. From 50,000, that's 10 times your money. In 10 years, in 20 years, I don't care. You just put the 50 and then come back 10 years later and there you go. So the hot list is a great way for you to get into the game if you miss the VIP. And if you miss the hot list... <laughs> how are you? If, if you miss the hot list, uh, then you know either you're going to have some units left uh, or you don't. Uh, sometimes the hot list, they're just going to run them until they run out of units or maybe they run out of units, they allocate it for the hot list. And then, of course, the next phase will be another phase, but the price will creep up. So the hot list is the closest way you can get to the VIP, usually at the price of the VIP and maybe a bit more assurance because you can see the unit number and you know exactly which unit you're buying in the vip you don't because you get allocated the unit. you ask for a one bedroom you ask for one plus then you ask for two bedroom but it's not necessarily you're going to get that unit exactly you get a unit you take it because the price is good and you trust that the development itself is amazing and that's what i've been doing all my real estate life i actually never i've never bought a unit that i've seen before i invested way 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 before everyone else and i kind of just made did the homework and made sure that the entire project is good so whatever i touch in that project will turn into gold gold and thank god this strategy has been working for me very very well and now we're gonna stop for a minute to appreciate the hydrangeas yeah <laughs> okay so always go a little bit of nature even just a little plan that that's all you need that's really nice so the hot list for Galleria is coming out. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, just send me an email, call me, text me, whatever. Email is the easiest me, obviously, because then I can just forward you the file directly. But if you want to call me and talk to me, I'd love to talk to you. I talk to people every day. Even if you're another agent, if you have an agent, it's okay. Talk to me, I'll talk to you. you know, we all live it together, it's a community. And we need to help each other to grow together because at the end of the day, the economy is always growing. We help each other, we grow together. And that's the most important thing, okay? So get in there, make your investment. And those who've made one investment before, it's a lot easier for them. Those who've made zero, have never invested before, it's really, really hard for them. I'm not, I'm not the person who's gonna go and convince you and call you, it's not my style. Um, I'll teach you about investing, I'll show you how it works, and it's up to you to decide if it's for you or not. A lot of people, I meet them a decade later, said, do you remember you could have bought, I remember this guy at uh, 150 Red Path, 
he had an opportunity to buy. It was a corner unit, two bedroom, 399, 800 square feet, 399. Uh, so 500 a foot. And the high floor units were going for about 600 a foot. When we did the VIP there, we showed up at five in the morning. It was really cold, all that stuff. And whoever got a unit, you know, now they're 1,000 a foot, 1,200 a foot. So they doubled, the, they doubled the investment, maybe more, but don't forget they're more than doubled because on that 399 unit, 20% was 80,000. But if that unit's worth, worth 800,000 now, that's 10x your money. 10x your money in four years, come on. Plus your 80 back. <laughs> Not bad. So that's how it works, my friends. You gotta make a move, you gotta take action, you gotta take positive action. You can't just expect to look at the internet all day and look up listings and not do anything. It's not gonna work, okay? Um, it's here to stay. Toronto is amazing. We're about 10,000 units short every year, at least. That's what the paper tells me, but I think way more. Now we see people like living, you know, one bedroom, you'll see two and three people living. Somebody's living in the den. A lot of these two bedrooms have two, three, and four roommates living together. It's expensive, but you know, that's, that's, that's where we're going. Um, 20 years ago, Toronto was cheap, uh, but what happened happened, and now Toronto is super expensive and high-tech and everything. So you better hustle, better do your thing, and you better make your investment on time. That's it.